front of my banana plants and I wanted to show you what I feel is a myth a lot of people say when you grow banana plants to leave the parent plant and two or three pups on there so those pups could replace the parent plant and if you let more than that grow it'll affect the size and quantity and taste of the bananas well I'm going to put that myth to rest here on my property. You might have a different experience, but this is what I experience. Okay, so right over here I got a clump of banana plants. This plant right here, look how thick that base is going all the way up. I have it braced up here with bamboo. And you can see there's a giant bud right there. That's a female bud because you have female blossoms coming out that are turned into bananas. The actual stalk on it is really thick. And the actual bud on it is huge. If you look here, this is a bud. It's, it's, this is a bud right here. And it's curled up and it's longer than where my elbow is when it's unraveled. Really big. So, it's beginning to give fruit. And it's beginning to give off hands. The bees are pollinating the female blossoms and they turn into bananas. This bud is filled with female blossoms. And now, if we go around to this side of the plant, you'll notice that there's another thick base banana plant that goes up. It's held up by these bamboo. And the stalk is really thick and fat. And if I could go ahead and get in here, it's giving off a really nice rack of bananas and it finally turned into male buds down the end and there's pollinators on it but there's about one two three four five six seven seven hands on that rack so this is so this is a clump of banana plants that are healthy they get plenty of fertilizer, plenty of water. There's a huge rack on this side, a huge rack on that side. And I've had as many as four racks coming off of one clump. So let's go see if I can find some more. Okay, right over here, you have a nice rack. And you can see all the hands that are on them. You can see my bamboo holding it up. You can see how large... How thick that stalk is up there see all those hands and it's coming down to this plant right back here and you can see how thick you can see how thick the base is okay so to me that's a really nice rack of praying hands now if we go around right over here You'll notice that here's another rack right here coming off of the same plant down in there, a nice base. And if I get around this side, you'll see how thick that stalk is. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six hands on there. Okay, so. I don't know about you, but they're mature and really nice. This one here has a real, I can't even count, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, some on the back side, nine, ten. There's a bunch of hands on that. 
and this is on the same clump so let's go look for some more okay so right over here <laughs> it's actually just the next the next clump over I didn't have to go far to look but as you can see right over here you have a really nice rack of bananas going up to a nice stalk and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve maybe 13 I don't know they're pretty tight hard to count but let's go through to the other side and see what's growing over there so watch it's the same plant I'm coming through okay so right over here you can see it's a banana plant you can see how thick that base is coming up you can see it's going to it's going to be hard for me to get in here but i'll start over here you can see the male blossom now you can see the the hands on it going on up you can see how how thick and long that stark is that stalk is way up there high I'm holding it up with bamboo and it's coming way down and look at all the hands one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay twelve or more on that now that's on the same clump so two healthy racks on the same clump okay so so far we have a lot of clumps of banana plants they all got two really nice big racks coming off of them one on each side well i would have only had one if i was trimming all of them off but now i have double the amount so let's go look for some more okay so right over here i have a really nice rack of bananas growing off of this clump now on the other side i already harvested a rack but let's go ahead and go around so right over here we have a male blossom coming up to a nice rack right over here up to a nice stalk and coming down to a nice plant so right over here we have a nice healthy a nice healthy thick base plant nice and green being held up by bamboo a nice stalk coming out and a nice a nice rack of hands coming off of it now right over here we have a really nice thick plant coming up to a nice healthy fat stalk coming down to a lot of hands on this rack all the way down to the male blossom with a lot of pollinators on them now I'm gonna go around to this side right over here and you're gonna see right over here we have a nice thick base coming up to that stalk and that stalk is being held up by bamboo and you see this stalk coming down to a male blossom but this rack right here is really full of bananas okay so if I count it correctly that's three nice racks and three nice plants on one clump that's pretty nice remember there's supposed to be a parent plant and two other plants to repa replace the parent plant here I have three parent plants 
with other pups that will replace them once I harvest these. Which is better, growing one rack or three racks on one clump? Well, I'm not a mathematician, but I'd rather have three racks in my icebox for my shakes. So let's go look at some more. Okay, so I'm in front of this plant. You can see the bamboo holding it up. You can see how thick, I mean, this stalk is like jack in the bean stalk thick. Look how thick that is. It's probably four inches round. Now you got the hands coming off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoops. Eleven or twelve hands coming down to a male blossom. Now that right there is an excellent stock with a rack on it and hands. I'm loving it. Huge. They're going to be big. Now, let me work my way around to the other side. Okay, we're on the other side, and you can see right over here. I already harvested the plant that was right here, and I removed the praying hand, so that's still two that was on this clump, and now I have other ones that are going to take over. Okay, so right over here, I have bamboo holding up this rack. You can see the nice stalk coming out to this female blossom. That is fruiting. And that's on this plant here. So if I work my way around, right over here, you can see I already harvested and chopped and dropped that plant. That's how I know that I harvested it. So there was two nice racks on that. Let's go down the other way. Okay, so right over here, you can see I have uh, supports. There's a male blossom with a lot of pollinators on it right here. And you notice I always leave my male blossoms on so the pollinators could keep and continue get in pollen and pollinate and rest of my plants for the whole year until I chop down the tree. You can see there's a nice rack over here going to a nice stalk. Now if I go around this way, you'll see right over here, there's another rack going to a nice stalk right over here and next to that. And Right over here, you can see not too long ago, I harvested this plant. So there was three on this plant right here. Okay, so coming around here, here's a rack. It's being held up by supports, a nice, a nice stalk, a nice rack on this clump. Come around to this side, get right down in here. We have another stalk coming out of this plant okay the stalk comes down here's a nice little rack of banana plants they're good size look at those and it's going down to a male blossom and right down in here I already cut and chopped and dropped a plant okay so right over here where that is holding up and right over there where that's holding up on the other side, I have another rack, so there's two on both of those. It's a little wet right now to, to squeeze through all those. This one's on the pond, so I'm just going to leave it. you got to take my word for it. And coming right over here, here's a nice little rack right here on a, on a really small plant. You notice it's not big, so it's giving off a little smaller rack, but 
the bananas are nice and healthy and plump. I'm liking it. And if we come right over here, you'll see here's another little smaller rack. The plant is only right there, so it's not that big. And I just harvested a banana rack down there. And if we come around to this side, you'll see that there's a nice... A nice rack right over here going up to the plant and if I make my way around God excuse me I'm looking for snakes at my feet I'm on the lake or the pond oops and the pollen <laughs> and the pollinators are buzzing me so right over here I got another rack going up and over and right over here I have another rack going up and over, so all those are looking really good. Okay, so hey, the point I wanted to make was, on my clumps, my banana plants are really healthy. A lot of my clumps are putting off two and three and even four racks on the same clump. So, and it does not look to me like it's affecting the rack size the amount of hands or the fruit size, of course, the taller the plant and the bigger the stalk, the more, the larger the rack and the more hands. But that doesn't matter to me. What does matter is the size of the bananas and how they plump up and how they ripen and the fact that I can move them into the house and enjoy them because I'm growing for enjoyment and to show you guys how I do it. So anyway, um, is it a myth? Is it not a myth? I'm growing multiple banana plants in a clump that are giving off multiple racks on the same clump. And I'm enjoying a multiple harvest where I would normally have one rack to harvest. I have two and three and even four racks on the same clump. And a lot of people say, Grow the parent plant and just two other pups, that means you would only have one rack. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a mathematician, but to me it's looking pretty good. And to me, what I harvest is very tasty. So I can continue to do what I'm doing and bring it all to you. So hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. This is a spur of the moment video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Give me a like, give me a share. Come on over to my Facebook page. Come on over to my Facebook group. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Y'all have a good day.